Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the packages which are not recommended to be used for automation. Yes, I repeat, which are not recommended to be used for automation. So every day you are able to watch videos, you are able to learn the packages, which I am telling you that such is the significance of a so-and-so package, so it would be used over here. But today I'm going to tell you some different topic and I would also tell you why so and let us move. So these are basically the packages that uh, we would recommend that should not be used in an automation script, prompt, message box and system. Now why so? Now generally the commands, the packages which you just saw in the previous slide, they are the ones that would basically stop the automation script execution. Let us say if I would have kept the prompt command on the eighth line and my automation script length is of 10 lines, then at the eighth line, it would get stuck and it would ask for a uh, manual, like interact as it is an interactive command. So it would ask for an input from a human, which is, which is very, very inappropriate because it might happen. The person might not be attending, might not be sitting on that machine. Until that time, the automation script would uh, stop and it won't further execute to the next consequent step. Okay, so these are interactive commands. They need the human input to move further. And hence, the automation script also consumes more time because it might happen that the uh, attendee might be there. It might not, he might not be there. So it is generally recommended. It should not be there. I would show you what happens when we are using these packages in the script. When you are creating the script, when you are, uh, you know, developing the script and testing it in your environment, then it is fine. You can use such packages to, you know, debug, to, to see, to test how your scripts are running. But when you are moving the scripts to your production environment, where the ex actual execution of the automation script is required, there all those interactive commands should not be used. Now let us see the practical demo of it. Let me create one new bot and let me name it as interactive. So this might be an inter uh, interview question as well that which are the interactive commands in the A2019 Automation Anywhere tool. So you have to name it as message box, prompt and system. So let us see the message box command. See, let me drag and drop. Now it says it has an option close message box after five seconds. Five is the default value. Now if I don't select this option, it would the message box would stand would come and stand up like this on the screen itself. And it requires someone to click on the OK button. Now, even if I put five seconds also, then also if you see, if you keep 10 message boxes in your automation script, so five seconds into 10 times means your 50 seconds are just getting consumed in showing up the pop-up in showing up this message box, which is not at all, you know, advisable. The automation scripts are to be made reliable and they should be uh, taking less, they should be consuming less amount of time. So it is deploying on the computer. Now you can see it will close in five seconds. Now, if you don't select the timer, the pop-up would remain as it is. Let us save it now. And now let us run the bot. Now the message box would be popped up and it would remain on the screen till the human interactive, like till the human interaction is required. Till someone clicks on that OK button, it would be on that screen itself. So this is, you know, it is not at all acceptable in the automation script. And when the clients, when the customers are accept, ex expecting the automation to be executed within less amount of time, within quick workaround of time, then if, if these uh, message boxes come up, what if your automation scripts are running at night? And let us say uh, it was supposed to be executed from at night one to four, and this message box came up at two then what would you do? You 
this your entire automation script will get stuck and you won't be the next consecutive point of execution won't be come up because this pop up has come up on the screen until and unless you don't click on this close button see it won't move further so this is not at all advisable to be used in the automation script one more package which i was just talking about was this prompt command this is also similar to that let me remove this first because i have already shown what is the disadvantage of using it okay so this is customized window caption that you can keep over here now let us run it so there are four custom uh, multiple options within this prompt command one is you can, it can ask for file it can prompt for folder it can prompt for some value or it can prompt for whether you have to select yes option whether you have to select no option so i'll show you that also see it is giving some pre processing failure just a second let me see prompt for value let us try to see now how it is running see it came up right now this screen until and unless you don't give some input on this screen it won't move further so your automation script would stop executing to the next point so what i would suggest is now suppose you give some input so it is taking the input in terms of you know keystroke and it is masked value because it does not wants you know there can be any of the vulnerability issue when you put the input and someone else looks into your desktop then those are private characters so it needs to be having the private characters that is why it did not Uh, allowed in the first time so this is a mandatory option so so over here the basic point is like see i used this command i used this package and the window pop up came up and it was stuck until and unless i went and entered something and clicked on okay button so it is not an automation working but it is it needs some of the required input from our side which is not at all you know possible at at sometimes it might be possible but it might not be possible that every time you give that input because this automation scripts they would run at night okay now coming to one more package that is system in system again you have got various options to lock computer to log off to restart to shut down now let's say if you want to uh, run the automation script and if you give any one of these command in between if you give shut down then automatically your machine would get shut down then how will you proceed with the further execution of the automation script okay one more aspect over here is if you are running your automation scripts on a virtual machine you know it might be aws machine which has got some billing cost based on how you are using it then you can use this package but it has to be used at the very end of the script and that too if if you have a test automation suite which is comprising of 10 different automation tests to be executed then this package should be you know part of the last script last 10th script and that to the last step of the automation script because if the machine gets shut down in between then how further automation scripts would get executed same thing happens with lock computer log off computer if the machine would get locked then what would you do okay so let me show it how it is coming first it would give you a pop up message that your machine is going to get locked in next 30 seconds or 20 seconds
click cancel to import so i would click on cancel okay if you click on okay then your machine would get locked so i click on cancel it's, it's okay. so so friends please uh, take care when you are creating the automation scripts system prompt message box are not at all recommended to be used in the automation script when you are executing them in the production environment yes if you are testing it in your development or testing environment if you are still debugging it then you can use a message box and prompt command is or system command is not at all advisable because i showed you what are the you know disadvantages and how they affect the automation execution the script execution on the running environment so if you have any queries uh, you can comment on this youtube video itself and if you have any of the queries and you are trying to you know work on this tool and you are if you are still facing any of the queries after going through my videos you can just comment on the video and my technical team will reach out to you within 24 hours okay so far so good stay tuned